Hello, welcome. This is Jensen Vars. In this video, I'm going to present Play by the Writing. It's a small software I'm publishing in itch.io for 3 euros and allows you to roll dice or play some solo RPG systems directly in your keyboard. Super easy if you, for example, write down colon r 2d6 and a dot. You're going to roll a 2d6 so you can roll dice super quickly. Another example is 3d8 dot. Another one, if you do double R, you can do more complex expressions. 2d6 plus 3 dot. It's going to roll that and sum it up. You can also fa uh, play fate. If you do colon df and a dot, you get a fate roll, or you can also use some bonuses like colon df plus 3 dot. It's going to do the math on its own. Uh, it also includes three solo RPG Oracle systems. Uh, one of them is Mythic Game Master Emulator. Another one is One Page Solo Engine. And the third is Plot Unfolding Machine, which is my own homebrew for playing solo RPGs or journaling games. You can use them by learning some of the commands. For example, colon QQ is going to make a yes, no a question. Or colon QA is for, for One Page Solo Engine. Uh, you can also uh, use Mythic if you do colon MFC, which stands for Mythic Fate Check, Chaos Rank, let's say a number four and a dot, and you get an answer of Mythic. Uh, finally, if you write down and if you get the five euro version, it comes with OpenAI integration. So you can do something like the Lord of the Rings is hunting Frodo, comma. Let's say you copy this sentence. You need to select it and copy it or right click copy. Then you go down and you write down AI complete and it's going to take the context of what you copied and it's going to autocomplete for you. The Lord of the Rings is hunting Frodo who stole the ring from him. Frodo is hiding from the Lord of the Rings in the Shire. So this is AI based and this is if you get my five euros to support me. Um, uh, on, on play by the writing. So I'm going to show you how you install it, how you use it. You're going to see it's very easy and I uh, hope you like it. Uh, let's see how it goes and uh, check how to, how to install it. In order to install it, first you have to download and install Espanso. So you go to espanso.org and download it for Windows or Linux. And then you install Espanso. And uh, you can launch it for the first time. To make sure it's running, you're going to get this icon here. And this Espanso icon is going to show up on the background. Next, you're just going to, once you get uh, played by uh, the writing, you're going to get this zip file. Here you have a readme. Uh, you're going to have a PDF with instructions and the installer. So you double click on the installer to install it. And um, it's going to be installed automatically in Spanso user folder. You can copy this path to go there. Uh, this is an important location because it's where it's going to install everything by default. Then you just click install. It's going to extract the files for it. And basically you are done. Uh, then you can just open a notepad as I showed you before, colon um, QQ. And it's going to be a plot unfolding machine oracle. So yes, that's what it is. Uh, if you open the readme PDF file on in, available in that location, you're going to get the list of uh, commands. They are not so many, and I think they are intuitive, so they are not hard to learn. Um, and then you can also get into the tables folder where it got installed, and you're going to see this mythic files, because mythic is not included, you need to purchase mythic GM, uh, GM emulator. And uh, you can open this with a text editor. It's gonna say mythic tables not included. So this is uh, action one. So this is where you can fill in the mythic descriptors or actions, uh, verb and uh, action subjects. So then when you use mythic, uh, you can use your own tables here because they are not included. Last but not least, um, there is a feature that you get if you pay five euros, which is an integration with OpenAI. 
it's an AI advanced uh, functionality that lets you auto complete sentences. And uh, what I do in Play by the Writing is, well, first you'll have to create an account there and click here and press on view API keys. Then you're going to copy this API keys and you're going to go to this Panso folder I showed you before. There's a directory called config and open AI TXT. This you open it and um, let's see while it opens. Oh, and basically you're going to see this line here, replace entire line with open AK. So I'm going to delete all of this and paste the API key that I just copied. I'm not going to show that on screen. But once you paste it over there, you just save the file and close it. And now look at what you can do. Let's see. Jana was a beautiful princess. She had long hair. And her father was the king of Trumal, right? And then we copy this, control C, AI complete, and it's going to continue that sentence. One day while out riding her horse, she came across a group of bandits who were attacking a group of traveling merchants. So you see, this is AI based from OpenAI. So it uses your account, uh, which is free, but well, the more you use it, maybe you are going to want to consider a paid account. And uh, also the more context you give, the better it's going to work. So this is play by the writing. I hope you liked it. Uh, the price is to support me. Um, I, this is quite amount of effort to do. It's not hard. You can go and learn Espanso and uh, develop your own. But well, consider this a way of supporting my work. I made this installable and easy to use for everyone to have fun with. Thanks and bye-bye.